G'day, I'm Carlos Sands and I want to talk to you today about a serious situation in the world that has led to new military actions by the United States, France and Great Britain and been supported quite rightly in my view by our Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. It's been controversial but the simple fact is the civilised and democratic West cannot stand by in the face of the indiscriminate massacre of civilians in Yemen. I mean, Syria! Shit, sorry, in Syria! Fuck, not Yemen. No, Yemen. Oh, God. No, Yemen. Yemen is where, yeah, where we're selling weapons to Saudi Arabia, selling the jets that, they're, that are flying over to kill the civilians, are bombing, bombing innocent people in, in, in Yemen. Not, ah. Oh. No, I meant, I meant Syria. Sorry. Look, we'll have to, we'll have to start again. Uh, Concentrate, Carlo. Sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll start from the top. It is a basic facet of humanitarian principles that the world must respond when it witnesses the sort of indiscriminate killings of innocents as we have just seen in Gaza. I mean, Syria! Oh, in Syria! Syria, Syria, Syria! God, Gaza, where, where did that even come from? I mean, is it, is it the West gives a fuck about Israel shooting into crowds of unarmed protesters, killing dozens in, in Gaza? God, how I got that. Sorry about that. We're going to have to start from the top again. Look, so, so, sorry, Zeb. Sorry, I'm just cameraman here. He's, I'm wasting his time. No, I'll get it. I've got it this time. It's Syria. Syria, let's, uh, from, the, from the top, one more time. Promise, I promise this time. We face a moral imperative to act. Future generations simply would not forgive us if we did nothing in the face of the sort of mass killings that we've seen in Syria, in Syria, in recent days, in the Syrian region of Afrin. I mean, Duma, oh, Duma, Duma was where the chemical attacks was, not Afrin, no, God. Jesus! Afrin's where Turkey's invading, committing war crimes. You know, and they're, they're a NATO power. They're the second largest NATO army. God, not Turkey. Turkey's Western back. The West has abandoned the, you know, the, the, the Kurdish region of, of Afrin, despite the Kurds leading the fight against, against uh, ISIS. Sorry. God, it's hard. Sorry about this. It's just so hard to get to remember which victims we're, we're, we're cynically, selectively pulling out in order to justify Western geopolitics. It's just, at least we've got, at least we've got the response right. You can at least say that, you know, because if there's one thing we can all agree on in Syria, very controversial conflict, we can all agree the one thing needed there, more bombings. Just hasn't been enough bombings in Syria. More is going to be the final thing after seven years of ongoing war. Let's escalate war. That's bound, bound to do it. So well done, Malcolm Turnbull. Well done. I completely agree. Back Trump. Let's start World War Three. That's what's going to end the war in Syria. I've been Carlos Sands. Syria, Syria, Duma, not Yemen. Gaza, Afrin, or any of those other, other places. Duma in Syria, let's start World War III. Trump, bombs, goodbye.